Dude, are you excited to watch The Mandalorian? I am so ready for this. Uh, just, is there anything I should know before getting into the series? Well, yeah. So we're going to start with the original nine movies. A lot of people think the newest ones are fan films, but that's okay. You still have to watch them. Now, those go on average from two to two and a half hours. Then, of course, there are the spin-offs. Solo, a Star Wars story about a young Han Solo, which kind of feels weird, but you still have to watch it. Okay. And then there's Rogue One. It's also a Star Wars story, another prequel. That's about how the Death Star was created, which we needed to know. That's a lot. It kind of feels like homework. Yeah, I'm not finished. So once you do all that, you have to watch the series. Now, I highly recommend watching The Clone Wars. Not the 2D animation by Gendy Tartakovsky, but the 3D animation. It's 133 episodes, and it's by Dave Filoni, who is integral to The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, which you also have to watch. Wait, and to understand like that, you have down. to understand Cad Bane's story. And so, he is super important in The Clone Wars, which you so. have to watch. Then you have to watch Star Wars Rebels, which explains the Force. I consider Rebels super important because they explain the names of the Force. So, for example, the light side is also known as Ashla, and the dark side is known as Bogon. This is explained to us by this giant guy who's connected to a planet, and his name is Bendu. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, this is just too much. I don't want to watch this show anymore.